Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to regular show episodes 1 and 2. So yeah, we're doing the first two episodes because I found out the episodes of the show are like the half-length kind. So we're able to do two today. Um, so yeah, this is our new Monday show uh, for the time being. Um, I'll say right off the bat, I don't actually know a lot about this show. I've seen a couple clips here and there. Um, I know Mark Hamill is a character in it. And I know the main characters are a raccoon named Rigby and a blue jay named Mordecai. Um, I also know that it has, I think, eight seasons, I want to say, and a movie. And that it's pretty darn popular. But, as has been proven with other shows, popularity does not necessarily mean I will personally enjoy it. Um... Again, I've seen a couple clips here and there, and it none of them have really hit me as being amazing. Um, but I have definitely not seen enough to actually accurately judge this show. I don't know enough about what kind of humor this show was going to have. I don't know about what the characters are going to be like. Uh, I have heard it goes really deep into some uh, heavy territory sometimes, but so is Adventure Time. So is MLP. Um, so that's not really saying a lot. Um, it, it just depends on how they work it and how I enjoy it or not. I am hoping that this does have a better start than Gumball did, though, because I'll be honest, I just... I, I want to enjoy it uh, early on, too. And I don't like the idea that the show's like, oh, it's the beginning, they don't necessarily know what they're doing... Uh, you got to give it time to really get it to really get a feel for it to really ha allow them to have gotten to the point where they got a feel for it. And it's like I don't subscribe to that idea. So many shows have proven that you can you can have a feel for what your sh what you want your show to be before you even start it. Avatar: The Last Airbender, great example of that. I mean. It was very clear from the beginning what kind of show this was going to be and what kind of tone it was going to have. And it's just like, it was great right from the get-go. MLP. While the beginning episodes in all of MLP weren't as amazing as it ended up getting later on, it definitely knew what it was doing and what it wanted to do. Um, even Steven Universe, though, th there was a lot of poor episodes in the first season a lot of it still told a great story and had great characters and fun jokes and ideas to it that were continued on in the future um yeah it's like i don't expect every episode to be great in fact i expect some episodes to not be but i'm hoping that it does enough to want me to to make me want to continue watching that's all i'm asking for so yeah, I, I really can't say anything about this series going in because I just don't know enough. So we're just going to get started. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episodes. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three... Two, one, now. So I didn't really know what to think of this going into it because, as I mentioned uh, in my pre-thoughts, I don't really, I, I didn't really know anything about it. Um, I only knew like a very few details here and there, like about Mordecai and Rigby being uh, a blue jay and a raccoon, respectively, and all that. Um, and I knew that Mark Hamill was in it, but I didn't know as who. Um. What I can say, for sure, after watching these two episodes, is that these are pretty good. I actually really enjoyed these. Um, yes, some of the humor was a little stupid, but I think that was kind of the point. I, I think it was supposed to be stupid. Um, 
Rigby and Mordecai so far, their personalities and their characters are, I think, the weakest part. I don't like them pretty much at all. I think they're annoying as hell. And for characters who are supposedly 23 years old, they act like they're middle schoolers. In fact, I know a lot of middle schoolers who act more mature than them. So, they're the worst part about this. Um, there is some pretty dark humor. The fact that the clown and the pony uh, were found in a cheap motel with probably over a dozen cans of beer pouring out of the room. Clearly appearing drunk. The show then killed them both. Um, Mordecai and Rigby have, uh, basically, um, used placeholder letters for swear words, saying, like, uh, H and S representing hell and shit. There is some mature humor in this that I'm honestly surprised about. I mean... Again, I had heard before that there was mature uh, humor in this show and all, but I didn't expect it to be quite like that. Uh, this, uh, The concepts of these episodes, though, are, are where it truly shined. Um, the first one was, of course, they put a hole in the wall in accident while wrestling with a doll. And again, I kind of connected with that because I used to wrestle with my friends for fun. Just, just for the hell of it. We'd play outside and we'd wrestle each other. Because we were fans of wrestling. And while I'm not in contact with any of those friends, unfortunately, anymore, um, I'm still a fan of wrestling and all, and I have fond memories of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's like, I connected with that. And then, throughout the rest of the episode, they're basically just trying to get a raise by using this uh, keyboard that Rigby stole from a wizard who was taking a leak. Uh, which was really, oh, just random. <laughs> um, and they basically just make everything worse and in the end accidentally send Skip at, to the moon and barely escape a monster that I guess Rigby created. And the second episode, while trying to prove they're not slackers, they end up slacking by playing some video game cabinets they find and accidentally summon Satan. Who then proceeds to destroy, start destroying the world. And they defeat him by summoning a, another video game character and fighting using three different arcade machines. Alright. Now, this show seems to revel in uh, absurd humor. Like, the kind of humor that's just like... Uh, to put it simply, like a lol, I'm so random kind of humor. It, it it takes these like extremely random, weird scenarios, and take and puts them to the extreme. Like two friends and roommates, they're they're tasked by their boss with setting up chairs, and somehow they summon Satan from an arcade cabinet. It's like, where did that even come from? Like, how do you go to that extreme? They put a hole in the wall. They're going to try to get a raise so they can uh, fix it. And they end up on the moon being chased by a giant monster. It's like, we're, it's like, I feel like the creator of the show and the writers of these episodes, I, I don't know if the creator actually wrote both of these. I think he said he wrote one of them, but I'm not sure. Um... When the concept of the episodes, I feel like it took like a mundane thing and then an extreme thing and combined them together. They made the episode somehow work to have those two kinds of things. A, a just regular, everyday kind of thing and an extreme scenario and somehow made them blend together into one single story, one episode. And that just makes, like, that makes no sense to me how you could do something like that. Like, that's kind of silly. 
but in a good way because it's really well executed here. I, I feel like this is what I wanted Gumball to be. Through seeing all the, the, the clips and stuff that I had seen of Gumball prior to checking out the show, I wanted Gumball to be kind of this thing that revels in its absurd random humor and just goes into the weirdest, most extreme places with it. But instead, it's just... It's it's just dumb. It, it, I mean, again, I Gumball supposedly gets better later on, but it's just like... Eventually, there's a point where it's just like... I'm not willing to wait for that. And I kind of mentioned that in my pre-thoughts. And how I wanted this show to be something that caught my interest and in, in, and uh, some and made me like the show early on. It gave me something to latch on to, and it did very much so. Unlike Gumball, regular show actually presented some some kind of absurd, random humor that works really freaking well. And I can see why this is popular just from these first two episodes. Now, I do know that this series does go into some more mature topics. There is one thing I did uh, not mention in my pre-thoughts. that I, I do know there is something related to Rigby getting a girlfriend and it handles it in a very serious, mature way. I don't know all the details. I just know that that is a thing that happens. Um... And, and if you know, please don't tell me. I do wish to remain spoiler-free. Uh, but, yeah, it's just I, I do definitely have an interest in this show now. It, it caught my attention and it kept it. And again, while I don't like Rigby and Mordecai's personalities, I'm hoping that they grow up throughout the series. Um, not, not physically, but mentally. That they, they really just develop and grow as characters because like i said i know middle schoolers who are more mature than these two characters are it's kind of ridiculous um they're definitely the worst part um honestly i'd say they're very spongebob like they, they'd be very fitting in an episode of spongebob and that's not a compliment by the way if you know me you know i hate spongebob so yeah, saying that they'd be fitting in Spongebob is not a compliment. Um, either way, uh, I did enjoy these nonetheless. Even though I don't like Rigby and Mordecai's personalities right now, I do like the other characters. I like a lot of the humor. And I just overall like the concept of doing what they do with these two episodes. And I hope they continue to do. By taking an ordinary, everyday uh, type of start to an episode and then taking it to the most extreme, random, over-the-top place possible. I, I really hope they continue to do that. Uh, and once again, if you know where this series is going to go in the future, no spoilers. I wish to remain spoiler-free. But as of now, I'm really excited uh, to continue this series. Uh, now, I won't necessarily be doing just two episodes every week. I might One week, I might only end up having time to do one. Uh, some weeks I might be able to do four episodes. Uh, it'll just depend on where we end up going that week. Um, but for now, tell me what you thought of these first two episodes of Regular Show in the comments below. And thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time. You're still standing, live love, laugh another day.